Okay, so the question is, if a client thinks that the hypnosis sessions are not working, what would I suggest? So, this happens every now and then. Uh, you'll see a client. I usually see a client for about six sessions. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's put them on a timeline. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I see a, a client for six sessions usually, depending on what I'm working with them on. Uh, if it's just something like smoking, then I just see them for three sessions. But if it's weight loss, I'd have to see them for six sessions, and then maybe some follow-ups after that. Well, usually if it's something like, uh, like weight loss or, or money, I like to see them for six sessions. And what I find is uh, right around session three, everything goes down the drain. Everything goes out the window and goes haywire almost without fail. They start to sabotage themselves. In fact, if they were feeling good about losing weight, now I don't expect them to start losing weight during this time, any substantial weight anyway. This is not a crash diet. I'm just giving them habits that will be helpful so that after I'm done working with them, they will start to lose weight. But sometimes in session three, what happens is they'll start binge eating. They'll start eating more than ever. They'll come into the office and they'll say, Steve, not only am I not eating broccoli like you said to, or lean chicken, I am eating pizza now, and I'm eating ice cream, and more than I ever have. This is nothing more than the subconscious mind getting scared and attempting to sabotage things. There is, as Dr. Phil would say, a payoff for this person being overweight. If their weight is, is high versus low, they get certain things, and usually they're not aware of this. This isn't always the case, but many times when you see sabotage, halfway through, this is what's going on. When their weight is high, they get to look like a victim. Now, I'm not picking on people who are overweight, nor am I saying this is always the case, but many times this is what's going on. They get to look like a victim, or they have a protective coating around them that keeps people who would otherwise be interested in them uh, in a romantic way away from them because maybe they had a little situation that happened when they were a child where they got some unwanted attention, some unwanted affection. By having this protective barrier around them, if you will, by, by making themselves less attractive than they would be ideally, according to the way the mainstream perceives attractiveness, they have pushed away potential people who may be interested in them romantically and their subconscious mind starts to get scared and starts to mess this up. So they start eating more so they can maintain this weight and they're not aware of it. So when you have this happen, and it happens with money too. Sometimes people have heard from their parents that rich people are bad or they're jerks and they, they really don't want to be rich even though they think they, they do. So at this time they'll start you know, going to uh, Atlantic City or Las Vegas and gambling all their money away because Really what's happening is they don't feel comfortable with wealth. They didn't grow up with wealth usually. Their parents always indicated to them throughout their lives that, that wealth is somehow bad. So they will start draining themselves. They will start draining their money down. They will start making, uh, they will start spending, uh, overspending, buying things they don't really need, just pushing money away from them because they want to dwindle it down where they feel more comfortable. So you've got to realize what's going on. There's a payoff. They're not crazy. They haven't lost their mind. They are just attempting to not feel bad about themselves and get themselves in a situation where they'll be bad people. Because let's face it, they were told as kids that rich people are bad, rich people are jerks, and why would they want to be that? So uh, whatever their payoff is, you need to get to it. So the opportunity is there. When things are quote unquote not working, realize that's an opportunity to look at it more deeply and to find out at a deep level what's going on. So that's what I do. I assess and then I regroup. I, I do a diagnostic hypnosis session. I ask them what's really going on. And usually I get a series of answers that helps me form a new approach.